her weaken and decrease defense, and maybe that was it. Okay, so we got another brimstone here. So here we go. Wakes up. Everybody comes back. Okay, we have weaken. Okay, so there it is. That's 13 seconds. Oh my gosh. So this is what it looks like when brimstone pops off on stage 25 of the Sand Devils Necropolis. 14 seconds, 8 turns. Double nut, Godseeker, but you don't need this high level of a blessing. And check this out, Nut, or Newt, and Lydia both only have a 1 star blessing, but when Brimstone does proc, this can happen. I'm going to run this a few times so that you guys can see um, a little bit more of what it will actually look like when Brimstone doesn't pop off. I've been running it a few times so far, it's like 30 to 40 seconds, but it's still faster than the Sand Devil Ninja uh, combo I was running. That was somewhere between, like, at best, a minute and 30 seconds, and more often than not, two to two and a half minutes, sometimes even three. It really just kind of depends on the RNG. Cornelia is going to be here. You don't need a six-star blessing for her. You don't even need it to be plus one. You just need the specific speed and accuracy on her. Um, if you don't have two nuts, if you don't even have one nut, then you're SOL, kind of. Uh, two nuts are kind of what makes this comp work. If you don't really have these nuts, I can't really um, like tell you that this is going to work for you, so I'd just leave if I were you. I do have other comps, like I've I was running the um, this one. I was running this one. I built this team here. This is another team, but obviously it's only a 90% success rate where the two cold hearts would kind of function in for um, a second nut. And, you know, this would still be a pretty good one. But uh, I'll show you guys this comp in a different video. So I'm going to run this a few times here. Then I'm going to show you guys the whole breakdown, everybody's stats, speeds, and the presets. And right now, we're doing a Sand Devil tournament, so this is really good. The reason I go out of my way to make these teams is because Sand Devil 25 is actually one of the longest um, teams currently, the, dun the dungeon teams currently right now, um, at least for me. It's like one of the last things that I do in terms of making making a dungeon team. So as you can see, Brimstone didn't pop off, but now it kind of just devolves, quote unquote, back into the Aniri and whoever she's with combo. Because pretty much Aniri and, you know, anybody else could technically solo depending on the stats, the gear, and the blessing. But for this specific comp, I'm pretty sure you don't even need like a five or six star blessing. Um... Now the books might be important now that I'm thinking about it because she does need specific books. I'm pretty sure, but we'll go ahead and check that out. So yeah, on average, you're still looking at 40 seconds, but this is still pretty fast. You have to understand Ninja and Neri combos, like I just said, around two, three minutes, 22 turns. And those Ninja and Neri combos are anywhere like 60 plus turns. Let's go ahead and do this again. I wanna show you guys what it looks like. So. Cornelia pops off first, puts the sleep, it's 100%, so she's a pretty good epic for it. Um, Lydia is going to place her debuffs, and if we get lucky enough and she places the brimstone, then it's almost a wrap in like 14 seconds. And then of course it's just up to Nut doing his thing. Uh, I do find doing Sand Devil kind of fun, making different comps, so I've been kind of on a Sand Devil binge looking at different teams, trying to make different teams work the team that i'm trying to make work right now other than the one that i just saw or showed you guys is another one with makage so if you guys have a comp that incorporates makage please let a burrito know okay so this is going to be one of the longer ones i really want to show you guys a brimstone popping off because then it's just like super fast but even this one minute run is really fast uh considerably dear god did you just notice look at lydia Good God, Lydia, <laughs> sir. <laughs> um, yeah. All right. So one minute, twelve seconds, thirty-six turns. It's still Gucci. Let's go ahead and keep running this. We get the or we get the sleep in. Oh, we got the brimstone. Here we go. Perfect one right here. All right. So both nuts go. EMHP moves. Wakes up. Kills everybody. 
Aniri revives. Brimstone hit. And one, two, three. Oh, it didn't do it. Damn, I thought it was going to be the one. I don't know. Uh, maybe the brimstone didn't hit hard enough. I, I don't know what it is. We'll see if we can replicate it. Everybody's complaining about the clan spam. Oh, all of these things are happening right now. And this is pretty annoying. I guess it's an automated. If you're looking for clan mates to join your clan, this will automatically get sent if you don't have anybody. I'm not sure how, if that's how it works, but like you said, spamtastic, super annoying. At the very least, it's pretty consistent, haven't, hasn't failed yet. And I think the other thing to consider is the amount of blessings, or not blessings, sorry, the amount of um, debuffs that you have. Because the more debuffs that you have, the more damage Nut is going to do. So the Sand Devil actually has this decreases incoming damage by enemy skills up to 75% on stage 25. Now, the more debuffs you can put on the Sand Devil, the more damage he, she, they are going to take. So I think in this one instance, now that I'm going over it with um, Lydia, maybe she procced off the Brimstone and she also procced the, um, what do you call it? The extended versions of her weaken and decrease defense and maybe that was it. Okay, so we got another Brimstone here. So here we go. Wakes up. Everybody comes back. Okay, we have weakened. Okay, so there it is. That's 13 seconds. Oh my gosh. Okay, well, let's... Shit, let's screenshot that. Thumbnail, bro. I think the best thing that I like about this is that you don't need high-level blessings. I'm going to run it um, a couple more times just to show you guys a little bit more consistency. But yeah, generally speaking, you're looking at about a 40 second run for this. It seems like at least. I've been running this a few times, like I said. And it looks like the runs are going to be faster when that weaken does stay a little bit longer. I think one way you could improve this is by getting higher level blessings. Obviously for each of these champions. Like if I could get a, a 5 or 6 star blessing for Lydia, I'm pretty sure Brimstone would proc more consistently and probably just better gear overall this is on an alt account this is not my main account so like i think if i got soul reap on newt for an example i think this might go even faster so let me actually check newt let me see here i might even change positions because positions does matter positioning does matter in this uh composition here we're looking at one minute one minute, 10 seconds. There, okay, eight, seven seconds. All right, so the position does matter here. I think I might change Newt's um, blessing here to Soul Reap, which is what I have for, what do you call it? I, I have a Soul Reap on my other nut for uh, a fire, Hard Fire Knight. And so with that in mind, let me run this one more time just to see if I can get Soul Reap to pop off a little bit better. We got Brimstone. We didn't get weakened this time, though. So we're hitting for 308 here, 308 there. Brimstone pop off. Oh, something's a little bit different here. Something's a little off. What's going on? Did my... What's going on here? Okay, so Brimstone hit. Why did that look a little bit different? Only hitting for 180. That was a little weird, wasn't it? Did me changing my soul reap change the speeds? No, that's not right. That wouldn't have done anything. We didn't change any positions. So here, usually at this point, if I am paying attention, I'm just pay paying attention to this counter because we're pretty much waiting for the Sand Devil to just kill everybody and then kill Aniri so she revives with her passive, bringing back Nut so that he can uh, hit the A3 again. Let me see here. Goes to sleep with Cornelia, decrease defense, weaken, and Brimstone. The last time, oh, that's what it was. Last time we didn't land the Brim, um, sorry. Last time we didn't land the decreased defense, but we landed the weaken. A 3% can get you. There it is. Okay, so there's Soul Reap. All right. 
So actually, Soul Reap is going to be a little bit more consistent, I think. If you can perfectly align Lydia's Brimstone and Nut's Soul Reap, I think it might be even more so consistent. I don't know why I was running Brimstone before. Sometimes you just make mistakes. That's okay. All right, so we have everything still up. Decreased defense and weekend. We didn't get the Brimstone, though. Soul Reap? Nope. Okay, maybe we get Soul Reap here. Does Soul... Soul Reap... Sorry, Soul Reap only counts as a, a debuff? Is that what it is? I can only Soul Reaper when she's in sleep mode or Sand Devil's in sleep. It's a he, I think, actually. Al Neme. Okay, so no, it doesn't have to be asleep. But it's still not going to do a lot of damage. Okay. Alright, so like I said, about 40 seconds. Still a pretty decent team to run. So let me go ahead and show you guys how to build this um, team here. I'm going to show you guys all of the speeds and the setup for everything. So obviously, Godseeker Neri is going to be in you know her usual get up immortal regen you could also do defiant and uh, immortal i've seen that done and bolster it kind of just depends the point is you want regenerative ability or regenerative um, artifacts on her here are the specific pieces of gear focusing on getting the right speed tune as well as survivability stats so hp on the glove defense hp percent whatever you can get to work make it work here are the total stats this is working with 80k HP, 5k defense, 212 speed. And we'll go over the mastery soon here because that's going to matter. And that's pretty much all you care about. That that level of survivability so she's not dying. Now, she is... Okay, so this one is fully booked. This is going to be a version where Aniri is fully booked. But I'm pretty sure you don't need this blessing to be this high. Um, I think the... Because... Well, here's the thing, right? So don't quote me on this, and if I'm wrong, let me know I'm wrong. But I'm pretty sure you don't need a six-star blessing for her. I think you might be able to get away with just the five-star blessing. Now, now I know what you're, I know what you're thinking. You're like, burrito. What do you mean, only a five-star blessing? Just, just hear me out. I was running an Aniri with a one-star blessing and a three-star bless. Oh, you know what? But that was with a different speed tune. And that was with... Okay, so Belay my last. I don't really know. You're, you're just going to have to test it out. And if you know better than I do, just let me know. I'm an average raid player, just like everybody else. Let me know if I'm wrong, okay? But for now, I'm going to say that you're going to need a 5 or a 6 star blessing for this specific comp. Because I don't really know. But when I'm running it, it seems like it happens really quickly when everything lines up that you might not even need a five or six star blessing. And I'm just kind of theorizing here. This kind of just happened. I think that having this miracle heal on, res restoring that destroyed max HP, which the Sand Devil does to you, will also increase the heals that you get. And I think that's like the main thing that you need for a God Seeker and Eerie combo. You, you want to be able to get the full heals, 18% of heals that you can get, based off of your total HP. So 18% of uh, 82k. And you want to just be healing as much as possible. And so this is working. You know, if you're able to get these exact this exact thing going, go ahead and do it. Fully booked. These are the blessings for her. Getting counterattack. I don't really know how I feel about doing counterattack, though. Um, let me know. I think taking improved parry might actually work a lot better. Shadow healer is pretty good taking these here is good too and definitely take these here this is really important spirit haste because you want to get that extra um 24 points of speed whenever all allies are dead so it's a speed tune get her done all right let me show you my two nuts um okay so the first nut which is the main nut, which is in leader position, or sorry, not, not leader position, position number one. This is his build. Ideally, I would have him in Savage. I think it might go a lot more swimmingly, but I don't have that kind of gear on this account right now. Here are the specific pieces of gear. Speed, damage. One of these days I'll be able to rework him. 
But for now, you know, with my okay gear, that's what we're going to be doing. Total stats, focusing on defense, 260 speed, 100% crit rate, 240 damage. I think that's enough to hit crit cap. Fully booked, soul reap. Here are the masteries. As always, don't blindly copy masteries. Go ahead and take Giant Slayer. Second one is going to let me show you this. Be pretty much built the same, just getting the right speeds. And this, I think, is the same one that I use for Hard Fire Knight. Here are the total stats, focusing mainly on getting high speed. And this one actually hits a little bit weaker, but this one also has a lot more accuracy. Because in Hard Fire Knight, Nut needs accuracy to place the freeze so I can push the turn meter of the Hard Fire Knight back with his A3. As you notice, this other one doesn't really have too high of an accuracy. It's more of a damage build. So this one, you know, is not going to hit as hard, but he gets the job done. And so that's why I have this one in position number one. I'll show you guys again uh, later on. But here are the masteries. And these are the wrong masteries. So let me go ahead and redo these the way that I would like them done. And we're going to go ahead and take this. Take a... Uh, hmm. Take this for sure. Take that. And we'll take this. And we'll take... Helm Smash. Okay. Well, here's the thing. I'm going to eventually rebuild both of these nuts in Savage. Just because that's what you want to do. And so later on, I'll end up taking this anyway. So let's go ahead and just run with that. I think this would actually be okay. I'm trying to think if there's any speed tunes. No, it doesn't matter because you're going to be wanting him to take these moves anyway. And he does heal a lot, so he often does have full HP. So we're going to be taking that. And uh, let's go ahead and take resistance because I do use Nut and Hydra. We're going to take improved parry because uh, oftentimes it's the crit hit that's going to kill you. So we'll be taking that. And I wish I could go over this way, but it looks like I done goofed, and we're gonna be uh, we're gonna we're not gonna be able to uh, hit this because I accidentally took this. I really should have taken my time going through this. So now I'm kind of f. In fact, you know what? I'm just gonna pay for the mistake and uh, eventually learn. So we're taking this, we're taking this and this. Want to take that? Definitely take that as well. And we're gonna take more counterattack. Take this. Take the crit damage. Take this. Take that. Take a little bit of this. A little bit of that. And we're taking Helm Smash. There you go. These are the masters you're gonna to want to take. This is what I'm gonna put on my other nut also, eventually. Now, Cornelia. Sorry that one took a little bit longer than usual. Cornelia, all I really care about is making sure she's got speed. So she's in full perception, really just focusing on speed and accuracy, enough accuracy to land debuffs on the Sand Devil 25. Here are the total stats. I think for Sand Devil, you need like 525 accuracy. I have 600 just to be on the safe side. She's going 287 because I need her to go before anybody else. Cornelia does need to go first so that she can place the sleep. She does need to be fully booked. All I really care about is Cornelia going first, fast, and accurate. Keep in mind, even with 600 plus accuracy, you can still get 3%ed. It sucks, but that's the way Polarium is. Lydia is going to be just the same Lydia I use pretty much everywhere else. Full perception. Here are the specific pieces of gear. If you want to go ahead and compare, nothing in particular, just high in accuracy, trying to get a good amount of speed on her as well. Accuracy on the banner, total stats right here. Oh, by the way, um, Cornelia did not have any masteries. She doesn't need any masteries. Speed and accuracy, that's all you really care about for Lydia. Fully booked. This is what matters. Take Brimstone. And Brimstone only has a 15% chance. Keep in mind, I don't think a lot of people know this. These um blessings they have a 
cooldown, right? Brimstone is on a four turn cooldown. So if you do something like try to land a Brimstone and it gets resisted for some reason or it just doesn't land, it goes on a cooldown. So you're gonna have to wait four turns before you're available to place a Brimstone. So even if you have this six star blessing, right? It's, it's pretty fucked up. Even if you have a six star blessing, it says 100% chance of placing a guaranteed protected smite. You can still get it resisted in some form or fashion where it's like smite will try to place, but even if you have this and you have more than enough accuracy, one of the like worst RNGs could still happen to you and this will still go on, on cooldown. Just so you guys know. Because I don't think a lot of people know that. And then, of course, uh, here are the Masteries. Go ahead and copy these Masteries. But if you have better Masteries, go ahead and copy those better Masteries. But this is what's working for me right now. And I think that's everybody, right? So let's go ahead and take these real quick because red dots. And where are we on Sand Devil? So I'm going to go ahead and finish this. But let me show you guys one more time the presets. So it's important, again, Aniri has to be in the leader position. This is the leader position. Ignore this name. I was trying out a different team, but I was like, I need Kaimar or another reset, and it wasn't working. But I was able to make this work. And then the nut, your main damage dealer that you want to pair with Aniri, is going to be in position number one. This is position number one, two, three, four. Here are the presets. Aniri doesn't need a preset. Presets here. You want to turn off the A2 because if nut hits this puts up the uh, puts the counter attack puts up the counter attack he's going to take up more time his a1 is not going to do anything it's just going to take up more time you don't want to use this you just want to use this and that's it same thing here actually turn this off but usually this nut is already dead Cornelia, all you really care about is this here and then decrease defense and we can keep in mind these are the true speeds which i think they're i don't have any live arena bonuses for sand devil so pretty much everything is it is what it is. And let's go ahead and run this. Sleep, debuffs, EMHP moves. So one, two, three, four. You don't want to wake up the Sand Devil because if you wake up the Sand Devil, I think he does something. Maybe I'm thinking about a different comp. Actually, I think I am thinking about a different comp. Because I've done different comps where... Oh, you know what it was? On another Sand Devil team I did, I couldn't figure out why the Sand Devil team was failing. But then I realized I changed the speeds of one of my nuts. And because of that, I was waking up the Sand Devil a little bit too early. And it would ruin the entire run. But I don't think that applies here. I think that would have actually been ideal had I woken up the sand devil. So let me run this one more time. See if I can figure this out here. Sleep. Decrease defense weaken. Hit it. Three. Two, three. Okay. I think what had happened there was... I think what had happened was... The procs. The giant slayer procs on one of my on this nut probably activated because i'm pretty sure that bonus damage counts at, on the counter of the uh, sand devil i'm pretty sure that's what it is yeah i'm pretty sure come on and then this is the most painstaking part. You're kind of just waiting. So maybe I should change the masteries again? I don't know. But anyway, um, this is the team here. If you guys have any suggestions to make this team better, please uh, let me know or let the community know. We're all, uh, we all share, share things here. But yeah, that's about it. See ya. What you want, what you want.